Welcome parents, carers and especially you children to another clever touch home learning session. This is another one for Key Stage 1 children, although anyone can join in if they want to, and it's going to be on phonics on the long vowel sounds. So hopefully you've watched some of the other videos we've made on those. The idea of these sessions is to help parents and carers teach their children about the main ways that we spell those vowel sounds. So we're going to look today in this session at the long O sound. There's lots of ways of making the long O sound. Things are going to get complicated. Now because this is a very serious subject, I've got some very serious help. So I'm Gareth, primary school teacher, and with me today is my daughter and police officer, Tulinda. As you can see, she's played a big part in this today. So welcome police officer Tulinda. How are you doing? Solve any crimes lately? Okay, watch out for your walkie-talkie, it's only going to fall out there. Okay, so she all starts off a bit shy at the beginning. But as we get going, she is a huge help using her very special deductive reasoning skills to solve these word clues. Okay, so we're going to start off, as we always do with these uh, phonics sessions, with our nodes. And we're looking at long O. So look, can you spot long O? There it is. Long O. And now what I hopefully you'll notice when we look at long O, just make that a little bit larger, is that the letter O takes charge in all of the ways that we make the long O sound. That's really handy. So if you come across um, a vowel blend and at the beginning there's an O, there's a good chance it makes the O sound. So I'll just move the others out of the way. We don't need long A, long E, long I and long U. Do you remember all of the vowels, Tallulah? Can you say all of the vowels at home? A, E, I, O, U. If you can learn that chant and learn which uh, vowels are the main ones that we have, uh, those sounds that actually appear in our alphabet, that's a really good start to learning all of your long vowel sounds. Because remember, there are some others that aren't in the alphabet, like er uh and air, eh, that, that we have to make with other letters, don't we, Tallulah? Just like all the ones we're going to look at today with the long O sound. So, if we hit the little plus button, out come the five main ways of making the long at home sound. So, Lula, which one do you want to start with? Try and keep that quiet for me, thank you very much. This one, okay. Now, this one just has the letter O. Just normally it makes an ot sound, it's short sound. But sometimes the letter O can make the long O sound on its own. So, if we just tap that there, Okay, so it makes uh, the long O sound on its own, usually at the end of words. Okay, so Tallulah, can you read this word here? Go. Go, brilliant. What about this word here? Let's make it larger for everyone at home. This one next to it, up. So. So. What about this one? But. Uh, mm, go. Oh. Bingo. Bingo, well done, bingo. Now this one, don't forget, this one, it's not at the end, but it is the O sound. Most. 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 Just like words like post. And finally, a word that Tula doesn't like to hear. No. No. Okay. So let's just close those down. All right, Tula, we'll go for this one next. This is the split digraph way. All of the long, o, uh, long, long vowel sounds have a split digraph way of making a long sound. And that is where, do you know if you can come out the way so that everyone at home can see? It's where this magic E reaches around the letter that gets in the way and stretches that vowel into its long sound. So it's a bit like reaching around and making it go, ah! Okay? Sorry, please don't arrest me. Okay, so uh, here we have some. O words, I'll make them large and you read them. Watch which one I do. I'm going to start with this one. Home. Home, good girl. This one. Code. Code. Police often use a code, don't they, when they're talking on their walkie talkies. What's this one say? Phone, that's right, phone. So here's another blend that you need to learn, especially if you're someone who should have been doing the phonics screening this year. The PH sound that makes an F sound. Okay, what's this one to do? That? Hole. Hole. And the last word here. 
Note. Note. I hope you could have a go at reading all of those words at home. Okay, what we're going to do now to do is just minimise that down. Let's see where we can find all of our words. Now we've done that. We've done that one. Now we're going to do this one here now. Now this is O A. Wait a minute. Now this is used mainly in the middle of long O words, but sometimes at the start too. So here are some examples. And then see if you can think of some more at home. Now, too, we're going to see if the children at home can read these words first. So we'll make them as big as we can. You can be working some of them out quietly in your head. So, if you have a look at this one here, everyone, it's Gola. So can you tell your parents what that word says? What about you, too? What's that one say? Goal. Goal. Good girl. How about this one here? Sir. So, oh. What do you think, Tulina? Soap. Soap. Right, everyone at home, how about this one here? Something that hopefully we won't have to wear much longer. Um, coat. If the weather gets nice and bright and sunny and you're allowed your one walk a day. How about this one? Loaf. Um, loaf. Loaf, fantastic. Whoa. I wonder why it was a bit small. Because you shrunk down the whole page. Here, Tulina, and the last one for everyone at home. R -o Road. Road. Well done. Okay, now we're going to have another look at a different way of spelling the sound. And this is O W. So if I just make this larger, oh, ready to do that? So this one here, O W, often comes at the end of words. Sometimes in the middle, but mainly at the end of words. And you've got to be careful because it also makes the ow sound. And if it makes the owl sound, that can confuse you. So with this one, it's always worth trying both sounds and seeing if the word makes sense. So, this is it. Look, warning. Owl makes more than one sound. So it makes the owl sound like an ouch. All right, let's see which words pop out of here. Okay, make these nice and big. See if you at home can read these words. While Tallulah is puzzling them out herself. Flow. I'll give everyone at home a second. Mm -hmm. Ow. Ah, you're saying ow because I confused you. All these words, remember, they say long o. Oh. Right, so not ow, not the ow sound, it's the o sound. So, today, how about this one? L o. What is it? Flow. Flow, flow. that makes sense, doesn't it? Whereas flow doesn't. We do use it at the beginning of the word flower. Flower. Yeah? Do you like flowers, Tallulah? Yeah? Non-committal there. Okay. Um, how about this word then? S L O. S L O. What is it? Slow. That's right. It's a bit slow. It's going to be the word slow. Sorry, don't arrest me. Just getting the handcuffs ready. Yeah, so slow makes much more sense than slough, doesn't it? Okay, how about this one then? Is this one shall or show? Show. Show. So we can see that when it's got the O sound, it makes sense. This is where the O W is used at the beginning of the word. Own. 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 When you own something, own. it is your possession. Grow. And to do the straight away, it's read the last word, grow. Okay, fantastic. Well done to do that. <laughs> Oh, sorry, please, officer, to do that. Okay, now I believe that we've only got one left to look at, which is this one here, the OE one. Okay, now the OE is usually used at the end of words. Can you go over to the side, to do so everyone can see on the screen? It's used at the end of some root words, okay, and inside some plural words. So here are some examples like volcanoes becomes a plural, more than one volcano, and one hero can become heroes. Okay? So let's have a look at some example words to do that. So there, if everyone at home can see them all, see if you can have a go at reading some of these words. Oh, doe. Doe, that means a female deer. There's a song about that to do that. Don't worry, I won't sing it. Okay. Next one. Ghost. Ghost. Not ghost, just goes. Yeah, goes. T um, toe. Toe, that's right. Hopefully you've all got ten toes. They can maybe help with the number bonds. We're doing some videos on those too. What a 
Whoa, that means sadness to you now. Huh? Here. Heroes. Heroes. Well done, heroes. Okay, so we've looked at those five main ways of spelling the long O sound. There is another way that only appears on a few words, but um, it's going to appear in some of the games we're going to show you now. All of these activities we're making on a program called Snowflake that Clever Touch give away with their screens. And uh, you can go on to snow.live and have a look at other activities that are on there. Maybe even search for hours. Okay, so if I leave full screen here, to know which activity would you like to look at first? I actually, I want to show you this because you haven't seen this one before. Here's a nice sort of activity. Here I've got six ways of spelling the O sound. Can't quite see that one there, so you're close to the screen. But I've added a new one in to do. Look at this. O U G H. Wow, what a weird way of spelling the long O sound. It's an O oh, U good heavens word, I call it. O oh, U good heavens. So, Tallulah, can you spot a word here that has that spelling pattern in it and drag it to this box? Because all these words need to go home. PC Tallulah needs your help to sort them. Dough, that's right, like when you're making bread. Right, what else can you see on there, Tallulah? What can you see at home? What's this a picture of? Oh, so Tallulah sorted one that had a no at the end. Okay, that is some toast. It's that box too. You can't quite see the uh, writing because of the black of your uniform. Okay, now here look is a female deer. Do you remember what that was called? Can you remember at home? Have a look for the ending. O E ending to do that. Not the split diagraph one. Where is it? Where is it? That's right. What does it say to do? Can you tell everyone at home? Deer. Yeah. <laughs> that female deer is a doe. She's too busy concentrating on the activity now. And last of all, what kind of bird do you think that is, Tallulah? It's a cut Oh. I can't see that. Yeah, it's the black, isn't it? It's my fault. I changed it to black at the last minute. I'll have to change it to white later on for the online activity. All right. We won't do, we won't do another one on here because we don't want the video to go on too long. But there is another level uh, added into that. We've also got this activity, Tallulah, that you know well. Full screen. So here again are some words that Tallulah can drag into the correct boxes over here. So we've got uh, the, the, the boxes that need to be picked up. Yeah, all right, Tallulah. So like where we have to find out where robe would go and things like that. Okay. And we've got words here like bingo and slow. Got some slow snails there. Okay. So when you're at home, if you haven't got access to activities like this, if you make word cards and get the children to sort them into the correct boxes for the ways of spelling those words, it's good to get them linked up. And maybe make sentences with words that have the same spelling pattern. So they're linking those words together, know that they're spelled the same way. All right, T, we're going to actually go to our desktop for one final activity, the one that you were helping me make, which is that our spinner here. Now, if you come out over here for a moment, so you can see this spinner here has lots of rhymes, words, that are the ending of words that we can make root words from, and then around it lots of letters that we can make the beginning of words for. So Tallulah, if you want to spin the wheel, if you listen very closely at home, you'll hear Tallulah's voice. Own! Own! So we've picked own. Tallulah, no one at home can see. So if you move over that way for a little bit, or maybe move your box over. So we've got own. So can you think of any beginnings you can put on own to make a real word? Can you do that? She's on the phone. Is that what you're showing me there? No. Ah. It's actually a walkie-talkie. Oh, okay. But I thought you were making a phone. Because that does rhyme with own. Okay? Um, maybe you can put a curly cut in front of it and have a nice ice cream cut. Cone. Cone. That's right, an ice cream cone. Spin the wheel again, Tallulah. Oak. Oak. All right, oak. So can you think of any words at home? Can you generate a list of words at home with your parents and make a list of words that end in oak? Uh, can you think of any words that rhyme with oak? Toke. Uh, yes, that can be a word. Uh, or folk. <laughs> or coke. Oh. Right, words that just end in O. Like the word no. So, that's right, or show. Ode. Ode. So do the 
shouting ode at us. Can you think of any words that rhyme with ode? Toad, yes, a toad. Okay, or road. Um, so if you can talk in as many ways as possible at home, and then you can write those words down and put them into groups. Oh, oh uh, that's good actually, because you know what, Tula? I can think of a word that rhymes with O, and it is time for us to go. So we need to say wave goodbye to everyone at home, and hopefully that's helped you with a long vowel sound. As well as some others. And uh, remember, learning is always better with G and T. Bye. Bye.